Students, this is the help video for your take-home practice quiz. I'm gonna quickly go over these practice problems in preparation for the Alex portion. It says in the figure below, measure angle one is X plus 14. And measure angle two is three X. And what you need to notice is there's a 90 degree here. So our thing equation, the things before algebra is that angle plus angle equals 90 degrees. Angle plus angle equals 90 degrees. Now you circle plug chug. So circle the angle, pick it up. You have X plus 14 plus circle the angle, pick it up. 3X equals 90 degrees. You solve, of course, 4X plus 14 equals 90 minus 14, 4x equals 76, divide by four, and we have 76, divide by four, long hand, one time, four, 36, four goes into 36 nine times, so x equals 19. But you're not in algebra class. It, you always do something with x, you don't end at x. So we're gonna come over here, we have 19 plus 14, that's 13, carry the one, 33 here, 33, and then three times 19, it's 27. Seven, carry the two, and then that's gonna be 57. And you check, 33, 57, add them up, 10, carry the one, and check, you have your 90 degrees. You can always check these problems. It says in the figure below, the measure of angle A, B, D is trace and sweep, 85. The measure of angle one is 19 more than angle two. When you're comparing one thing to the other, 19 more than something else, the something else is gonna be your variable X. So two is going to be your X. 19 more than X. More than is a concept of addition. If I said I was 19 years older than you, that would be a plus concept. So our equation here, or expression, excuse me, is gonna be 19 plus X. So your thing equation is angle plus angle equals 85 this time. Circle plug chug, X plus 19 plus X, 85. Of course you have two X minus 19 both sides. We're going to Borrow, that's 666. Five by two, 33. So this is 33, add 33, 19. 12, carry the one. We add that up and you have 52 here. So 52, 33, and then double check. You have 33 and 52 and add it up. That's five, that's 85 and check. There you go. So key concept here, the concept of more than is addition, not multiplication. Ready, here's another one. Let's take a shot. A, B, D, trace and sweep is 75. Angle two is four times measure. When you compare one thing to the other, the other is X. So we're comparing angle one to angle two. So angle one is X. Four times is simply four X. So your thing equation is angle plus angle equals 75 here. Circle plug chug, four X plus X. 75, 5X, 
75 divided by 5, and x equals 15. Again, don't stop there. We're going to plug it in and check it out. So that means this is 15. 4 times 15 is 60 in the margin. 60 plus 15. Boom. 75. Check. It's really easy to check these. Ready. We've got some information here. Let's EBD is 28. So E, trace, and sweep. ED, 28. BC bisects ABD. So BC bisects ABD, trace and sweep. That means those are congruent because of the bisector. Took care of that, took care of that. BE, so colors really come in handy here, bisects CBD. So C. E, D is being cut in half. We sweep it this way as well. And your goal, it wants you to find A, B, C. So A, B, C, it wants you to find this. But again, it, I would just get in the habit of just finding everything possible and you'll eventually stumble across that. So let's start with the simple. Let's see these hatch marks. It means those two angles are equal. So we can do 28, 28. Get you 56. And then we know that these are being bisected blue to blue. So that means this is also 56. So the measure of angle A, B, C is 56 degrees. Coming here, you want to sweep and ask yourself what's true. So straight line, sweep, that's a linear pair. We know those add up to 180. And then if you trace these two, they are vertical, which means they are congruent. So your thing equation, if we want to just solve for Z, is just angle equals angle. So we know that this is 119. For the X, it's going to be angle plus angle equals 180. So circle plug check, 6X minus 35 plus 119 equals 180. And you solve from there. And then once you find x here, so we're going to do 119 minus 35. That's going to be 4. We're going to borrow 3 from 11. Ninety-six, ninety-six. So we found x equals 16. You're not done because you want to solve for this. And another way you could have figured this out, if this adds up to 180, go like this. And you just take 119 away from 180. And you're going to get 61 there. And you could have done 6x minus 35 equals 61. So 6 times 16, that's 6 carry the 3, 96 minus 35, 161, check. If that's 61, this is also 61. Coming down here again, trace and determine what kind of angle pairs these are, and they are vertical which means they are, this is angle equals angle, 11x minus 19 equals 6x plus 21, solve. And 
that's going to be 10 carry the 1, 40, x equals 8. Plug it in. This is going to be 88 minus 19. Sixty-nine. Let's check. Six times eight is forty-eight plus twenty-one. Also sixty-nine. How to get Z is you sweep like so. That's one eighty, which means Z is simply one eighty minus sixty-nine. Yeah, one eleven which makes this also 111. So sweep the angles, determine what kind of angles they are, vertical or linear pairs, set up your thing equation, solve for x, plug it in. 